What is up my favorite people, Tech Labs here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are feeling well. So today we're going to be talking about the latest Apple battery situation and the iOS 11.3 as well as some jailbreak news and the latest bug that happens on the iOS developed by the Abraham Mastery. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into this. So first of all regarding the Apple battery situation. So if you are into the news you probably know that Apple have been throttling your devices if you had some bad battery installed into your device. So for example if you had 30% of the battery wear it would throttle your device so you will be losing some performance from your iPhone. So this has been affecting many users like the iPhone 6s, iPhone 7, iPhone 6 and even 5s and a lot of people have been losing some performance on their devices and Apple comments it's on that saying that's the problem of the lithium ion battery installed into any devices so it doesn't really matter which one you have the Android, iPhone or even MacBook and they said that they did this on purpose so you will have some more battery life out of your device and this will not shut down in these critical situations when you need to pick up a phone call or do stuff like that. And the most exciting part about this is that Simcook actually commented this whole situation afterwards saying that they will actually release another version for the iPhones to fix that situation. So he didn't go into the details but as far as we know we will actually get some little switch up here in the battery sub menu so we will be able to choose between two modes the most battery and the most performance mode. So you'll be able to choose yourself whether you need a more battery life or actually more performance for example in the games. In my opinion I think we will get the iOS 11.3 instead of the iOS 11.2.3 just because this one brings some major changes to the battery compartments into your iPhone and of course Apple would like to give this one a higher number. So that should be pretty much it for the iOS 11.3. Now let's move on to the jailbreak. Okay so Coolstar who is the developer of the electric jailbreak which is compatible now with the iOS 11 up to iOS 11.1.2 actually said on Twitter that the latest patches from the jailbreak will be compatible with the iOS 11.2. The sponsor of today's video is Dr. Phone by Wondershare. Dr. Phone allows you to have all sorts of different system repair and recovery tools all in one app for the Mac and the iPhone. Check it out in the link below. But don't get me wrong because we will still need another exploit for it to work on the iOS 11.2. So an exploit is basically what this jailbreak is all based on but all of the other patches which are helping this jailbreak to actually you know fully succeed and fully you know jailbreak the device are actually working. So we'll still need another exploit for the iOS 11.2 which is currently not existent. But I mean for all folks that are staying on the iOS 11.2 right now just please stay there because you will still have a big big chance to get that jailbreak in the future in case someone releases a new exploit. And finally the last piece of news is about that bug which has been discovered by Abraham Masri which I talked about in my previous video. So if you watched that video you probably know that this bug is cancerous but for some reason Abraham's account on GitHub where this link to this little bug was placed was actually suspended. So Apple or somebody else actually reported his account in this particular bug and then somebody decided to just block his account like at all. It's non-existent anymore. And this is very strange because his account is banned and this bug is legal like 100% I mean all of the previous jailbreaks which have been hosted on the github they are not banned they are still on there and they're 100% legal but again I'm just saying that somebody probably didn't like that bug and kind of wanted to report this whole account but for some reason he gets suspended and we cannot do anything about it but actually once I had an updated link after that so it should be working right now in my previous video and also something to add from myself is that I've been using this bug with my brother and he actually has an Apple watch as well so believe it or not but this one actually works on the Apple watch as well so for some reason Apple watch is also triggered as well as my Mac so I've tried it on the different devices and all of these devices are vulnerable to this little bug let's say so they are all getting crashed or freezed and even the Apple watch I was so scared when I sent it to my brother and I seen his Apple watch just absolutely hangs on that screen we have an AI message and we were not able to do anything with it but fortunately it just got resprung and everything went back to normal but uh, thanks God I didn't have to pay that much money for his Apple watch and you guys I mean that should be pretty much it for today hope you guys enjoyed this new format and of course if you did make sure you just smack the like button so they will be super much appreciated like always and as always guys i really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out